What's up, world? It's your boy, Mr. Free Game. Welcome to Free Game Nation. Well, you already know, I give you nothing but free information. Take it how you want it, but I guarantee if you put good out into the world, good will come back to you. Now, today we are just gonna go over a few plays of we are just gonna go over a few plays. Say that right. We're just gonna go over a few plays. We're gonna check up on the portfolio. Of course, you know, we've been going through a sector change, you know, and a lot of stocks have been down, preferably in the EV market. So there's been a lot of buying opportunities, okay? That's all that is. This is what you call uh, transformation of wealth, you guys. You cannot be scared of red days. If you are part of Free Game Nation, here at Free Game Nation, we feast, we feed, we eat on red days, okay? Get that into your brain. We feast, we feed, we eat on red days. We don't shy away and be scared in red markets because you already done the research, you already did your due diligence, and you know what these plays are gonna do. That's why we call those base plays. And if you got your faith and you believe in those plays, you buy more shares on Red Days. Make sure y'all stay tuned for the mental jewel of the day. Without further ado, we're gonna go straight into the portfolio. We're gonna check on and see where we are, see where we have been. And uh, that's just how we're gonna rock and roll today, man, y'all. Let's hit the portfolio. Right, diving into the portfolio, as you can see, we are sitting up right around 39,000. Dollars at the moment, we're up 1800 for today. So what's happening is the stock market is starting to correct itself and things are getting back to normal and getting back to the price where they were. Now, we got a long way to go in order to get back to where we were before the stock market started to correct. But hey, this lets you know that if you stick into your portfolio, stick to the plan, then everything is gonna be all right. We going straight back up to where we were. And if if you had money to invest in these stocks while they were down, you know you're gonna be at a higher position than you were before the stocks fell in the first place. So, if I was in the stock market and I had an extra thousand dollars to spend right now, what stocks? would i be purchasing well if the ev market is the market that took the biggest hit and all of those stocks are down then the ev market would be the market that i will be focusing on that would be your neos your idex your blinks things of that nature so let's take a look at neo now as you can see neo was sitting at 42 dollars right now right is still down at its lowest it went down to almost $34 a share so that means you could have gotten an EO on March the 5th at around $34 a share when just a month ago it was selling at $64 a share you guys that's almost $30 in profit. Once this stock gets back to its initial value. So what you call that? You call that a sale, man. You remember we was talking about the monopoly money in the monopoly money game? If the hotels and the houses went on sale, what you gonna do if you got all the properties? If you have all the information that you need, you gonna get those hotels and you gonna get those houses this all this this was neo was on sale so the best thing to do if i had a thousand dollars i would have got me about five six more shares of neo and i would have waited and held it on out until it got back to its initial three month high which is 62 dollars a shirt all time high 66.99 hey i'm rocking it i'm rolling it i'm keeping it you jump in there and you ride it to the moon you take those 30 dollars in profit another stock i would have jumped on was blink ticket symbol blnk 
Blink took a nice hit too. They say it dropped down $22 a shirt. So that means at its lowest, you could have jumped in the blink at around $26, $27 per share. Why not increase your position? Or if you've been waiting to get into this stock, then that's the perfect buying opportunity for you to purchase this stock. And guess what? It's already up almost $10 from its initial low point on March the 5th. And it is high. It was $64. This is 52 week high. Even a month ago, it was 57. So if you could get it at 26 and it's worth 57, well, guess what? You just doubled your profit once it gets back to its initial value. Okay. And even, even now, you've already seen about $10 in profit already if you caught this stock at its lowest point. Is there still a buying opportunity in this stock? Yes, by all means. If I had $1,000 and I was coming in to purchase some stocks, I would get me a few shares of blank charging as well. And I'm going to hold it and ride it to the moon. Now, another one in the EV sector that I like is ticket symbol IDEX. I think at its high, it was $5.53. As you can see right there, it's high, 52 week high is $5.53. And it dropped down to around $2.42 a share. It's already up a whole dollar from the initial drop on March the 5th, the lowest drop that it had on March the 5th. So you will already be up almost a dollar per share for every share that you bought if you decided to go ahead and invest in this play. So if I had an extra thousand dollars, what would I do? I probably take my first $329 and give me a hundred shares. Uh, IDEX and I spend the rest on NEO and Blink then I will fully be I will have a great grab on the EV market in order to take this ride right back up to where these stocks used to be you will probably profit off of that thousand dollars that you initially spent three to five thousand in the next two to three months and it's just a little free game from your boy Mr. Free Game. Now I can throw it up like Drew Brees, but I'm telling you, you gotta catch this free game. Now I'll be honest with you, there's plenty more stocks out there that, that I could be jumping in right now, but these are some of the ones that I'm focusing on. But you let me know in the comments what stocks were you focusing on, what stocks were you putting your money in during this sector change, what stocks did you feel like had the most value for you in your portfolio? But hey, like I say every day, that's just a little free game from your boy, Mr. Free Game, for your entertainment pleasure. Now I tell you what, man, I can throw you free game all day. But if you don't catch this free game, if you don't catch this free game, then it won't help you at all, man. But you already know how I rock, man. Keep God first in everything that you do. Don't chase money. Let it chase you. Write your goals down. If you can see it, you can see it through. Stop playing with your boy. Make sure you hit that like, that subscribe, tap that bell so you can get these notifications. So every time I post a video, you will be the first person that I see coming. That's what I want to see, you know. I'm out now I got to bless you with a mental jewel of the day. And that mental jewel of the day is simply this. Never give up. Never, never, never. Holla at your boy.
Mark is making moves, man. Make sure you're making chess moves, not checks. You know what I mean? Make sure that you actually taking some time to think about the moves that you're making before you just set out of a, a good stop and purchase something just because you feel like it's going to be some quick money in this stock. That's a quick way to lose money in the market. So make sure you out there making chess moves, not checkers.